All right. Here is your 30 inch sun crawler. Here we go. So I got it down to like a 10 inch box by 20 by 15, 14. So I'll be able to put it in a small little box like that. We'll get to this river later. Here's some deck plates for you. There's a balcony, simple, just drops right in. Here's for your cockpit type thing. And there's the front of your cockpit, it has some sliding lips, so it just slides right in when you get to that. You have a detailed thing that just hooks in there, and then that makes your lid there. It's got a nice little see-through canopy. There's your detail, it's got the nice weather doing it, it's got the yellowed panels, it's got the chromes and the hoses. And so this just folds right up, as you can see, nicely. And it's all got things for your inside parts here. So what we do to start, is you start with your base and on your base you have your bottom it's obvious that this is your front door put just a couple little things for lights on there you know 300 bucks I'm not gonna make it as uh, detailed as a $1,600 one these go in from the back here from the middle here and there's a little clip that slides right along here let's see how fast and quick we can put this together there are two slots here so this goes right in the middle there's one for the back one for the front You'll see when you get it. But when you put them on there, they'll hold nice and solid so the whole thing's not going to fall apart on you. Oh, don't forget the little sliding door. Oh, it doesn't slide. The, you know, it, It'll just clip into either side. I just made one door for you there uh, so that you can uh, put it on either side that you want. Now these tank tracks, I just bring them right to the edge here is where I get them and that leaves enough room for your hole here. I know that they should be like that, but they are just from a toy thing, so I just buy these at the dollar store. They do cost me like 20 bucks because they're 4 bucks a piece if you want. So that right now that's uh, 10 bucks just for these two. If you want them double sided so that they're like this, that's going to cost another $10 for the other piece, but it also costs for the labor to do it, so that's why you have to include $40 to make them double because it's a lot of work to put the other things and fix it all up. This actually has to be cut down and they are longer and it's, it's just a lot of work. Anyways, that's taking away from our time here. I'll show you how this thing just goes together. Oh yeah, just slide them in from the end here. There you go. Yeah, you can't slide that in from the end. That has to go over. That's why. Okay, once you got that, those are solid. Those ain't going nowhere. And that's the idea of it. Now you have the one little hole there and that'll make your uh, empty. Now with this, there's three little tabs here. And what's going on, these two holes here, there's these tabs here and they click in. I'll just do this back one. So this one I put right to the edge there so that everything will line up. And this bar here goes on the inside of this one, not on the outside. And that'll help you get that together. Well, let's get to that tab there. One tab's one side, one's the other side. So, once you get those, well, of course, do the hard side. If you pay attention, it works much better. Then once you get down there, you want to make sure that this clips over and underneath there, and then the whole thing will just fold together like that, nice and solid. So when you pick your whole thing up, nothing's going to fall off. Obviously, I didn't clip this wheel in very good. There's a clip on the back side here, so that's why you just can't slide it in, so it has to go over that side. There's two sides here, because this is two pieces, and then this has got three, so these three go around these two. It's pretty simple. Once you just got to be a bit of patience, because I'm just like trying to rush things here, and I do put it from this side. I don't know, so it's just. I should have had some breakfast for some energy. There we go. See, that's holding now. I make sure to make the clips and I don't want anybody to complain. Now this folds up and there's a clip in here. So you clip that right in there like that because that's holding a part of that back part. So let's try to do this other side real quick. So I can see what's going on here. 
so the three clips one goes on this side and I was having problems with this the middle one is really tight on this side oh it was the other one I did so this one's gonna go smoothly for me yeah that's right and then those should just pop into there these things have to go underneath there and then that'll hold it so that it all holds up nice and tight that's what we want now check this out to keep this slides right down in the insides like this, so you slide it from there. You want to do sort of both of them at the same time. And then you'll just see the whole thing just comes together, bam, 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 like that. And that's the idea for it. And obviously, I'm doing this for $300, which takes me all week, so I'm going to do it as sort of cheap as I can, not as, you know, so I've done dremeling lines with lines over top, but I'm, you know, I've tried to make these nice and straight, but, you know, at this point, it was really easy to mold up and mass produce it at this point, right? Because it's all in panels. So obviously I'm not going to do a 100% top notch daub. I'm going to make sure it's nice and rough and grotty and stuff and a little bit, you know, so they, you would have to refine this a bit. And there's how you're going to mold up in between those pieces there. So I've done stuff like that in between these hoses are hard to mold up in between this hose. So you'd have to redo it. And so that's why I've, it's cheap, fast, inexpensive, not cheap. I've made it all solid this is really cool here but that's why i've done the things the way i've done them so this once that goes there this is a pressure plate it see once you put the pressure together it holds no problem it's nice if this isn't lining up obviously that isn't down so don't complain to me and go it's not lining up here when you haven't pushed it all the way down because i do have that from customers if you want it 40 dollars for the shipping because it is a hundred dollars to ship it this way but if I take it down to make it into this thing, we can get it down to $40 for you. That's well, real obvious. There's clips here. There's clips up here. I don't mean to sound like a dink. It's just that's the way business goes. It's not, I'm not postal. I'm not Canadian post. And once that clips on there, see so you get a little antenna up here. This will just fold right into there. So you have a door there and look at that. It makes a nice door that goes up like that. So you can get inside so you can see what's going on. So let's, while we're here, throw in this balcony door. It just goes in here like this, like so, and goes up around like there. So I do make really nice ones that have a lot of detail inside them and stuff. It's on my website. I'm trying to make something more inexpensive, more accessible, and not so big and huge, because the regular scale one is 40 inches and just like massive for your three quarter inch. This works fine for three quarter inch. This has a, plates these are for the inside these are for the outside so it's really simple just put those ones on the inside there and those ones go on the outside and try to make it hassle-free simple the whole thing goes together nothing falls apart it's great how long did that take us this door you can put in any one you want I like to do it this way it's one side is because it's, it's not perfectly straight right so one butt's a bit wider and one by's a bit smaller so you see you see how it'll do up uh, it's really stiff at one end so you can hold it there so you can so you can pose it how you want you'll get the idea because that's how it's supposed to look isn't that look cool and you can cut this I just left one of these straps to make an antenna because I thought it was cool all right so there you go there's our 30 inch barge and there's the setup and how everything works and how it all looks and unfortunately this one's Eugene's and because he's letting me make the first one for a uh, the development, I have to develop the prototype. Oh, don't forget this plate. This plate goes up in here because you want to have. And there you have a 30 inch barge. See, 30 inches. Actually, I'll just shake it up two real quick. I lost Han and Princess Leah in last night. So there's our two, and that's their all original one, one I'm used to, so you can see the size of it. So I made it so your three quarter inch figures will still look proper there. That's what the space is about, or else I would have lowered them, but it would have been a nightmare. But then I made the cockpit here so that it would hold guys like that. And I'll just show you real quickly. Yep. So as you can see, those go on the inside and that goes on the outside. And then that holds that space apart there. And then these edges just go over the outside. 
cover everything up and you can see R2 through the window and there's a little platform so you can put some figures on. And that's what it looks like sort of inside. And take this door down. It works really nicely so that things can go in there. Beautiful. Don't mean to make such a long video, but there you go. Ten minutes video to show. I just love that belt. Oh, it just looks so beautiful in there. No, of course you're gonna have lots of light and seams coming through all those places where it goes together, but doesn't that make it just look and there's Vinny's barge, this last of Swan Song barge. I put some uh things on them. So I make these for four hundred and forty dollars US. It's gonna include the shipping now, or I make the higher end ones that are bigger. So I made this is forty four inches, I made them fifty inches. So they are longer, Vinton, but the other ones I make are like 70 inches longer and are like $3,000, so I'm not selling that for 800 bucks. <laughs> so I have to go and go through another video through everything goes through here. That's just for this, uh, the sand crawler. So anyways, I've discontinued that. And I've got the electronics done on our walker here. So you turn this on and everything walks nice and slow. We're going to hook up all the gears for our big massive AT MS. Isn't that just beautiful? Well, that's too long of a video, but that's what we're doing. And the shop was supposed to be moved, so I took everything down and I'm rebuilding everything up now because I got to get at this Megatron to get at the Unicron to get at Jovanovsky ship is next. Up there, and the Unicron is next. And I haven't heard about the Cloud City thing because it is one box, two box, three box. It's all these things. I understand some of it is just greats for stuff that I haven't used yet. But, anyways, there's your video.